Chelsea are chasing Roma striker Paolo Dybala. Chelsea are considering whether to trigger Roma striker Paolo Dybala's release clause in the January transfer window. Mauricio Pochettino is not satisfied with the power on offer as Nicholas Jackson has struggled to impress since his summer move. From Villarreal. What's more, Christopher Nkunku has only just returned after undergoing knee surgery in the summer, while Armando Broja has only scored two goals in 15 club appearances this season. And the London side are now considering renewing their interest in Dybala. The Argentinian is currently in the second year of his contract with Roma, which runs until 2025. But crucially, his deal contains a release clause. According to Tutor Mercato Web, Chelsea only need to submit a bid of 12 million euros to activate the clause, which would then allow Dybala to make the final decision. However, Pochettino and his colleagues cannot wait. The release clause expires on January 15th, and at that time, the Serie A side are expected to raise their price for the 2022 World Cup winner. Boniface says he never liked the Premier League after being linked with a move to Chelsea. Speaking on the Obi-Wan podcast, the 23-year-old player admitted that he never really liked the Premier League. Although Boniface said he would not necessarily reject a move to the Premier League, the Nigerian admitted he would always prefer the Bundesliga and La Liga to English football's top flight. Speaking on John obi Meikle's podcast, the Leverkusen star said, To be honest, I never liked the Premier League. I don't think that's my style. I like playing in Spain or Germany. I'm not saying if this is the right time for me to come to England. I would say no. But what I want to say is that when I was young, I really liked the Spanish and German leagues because of the way they were played. But I'm not saying I would refuse to come to England. But I said if I had to choose one, I would play in Spain. Arsenal are interested in making a shock move for the £62 million Chelsea man. The position that is troublesome for Arsenal is the left-back position. Oleksandr Zinchenko's form has dipped in recent weeks, with teams targeting his area and attacking from there. According to journalist Simon Phillips, Arsenal are now reportedly interested in bringing in Chelsea star Mark Cucurella next January. Although January could be difficult, the Chelsea writer admits he has heard rumours of a possible transfer to Arsenal. Phillips said, I'm still hearing that the most likely scenario is that we wait until the summer to sign a new left-back, but something could develop with Mark Cucurella. I've heard some whispers in the last week about a potential move to Arsenal, but nothing is certain yet. But the problem is the injury, so that could make any movement this month difficult. Chelsea are open to selling him now, and he will definitely be sold in the summer. Mauricio Pochettino responds to Jordan Henderson transfer link as Liverpool could make millions. The former Reds player is looking for a way to return to European competition after six months in the Middle East. Henderson is reportedly looking to return to the Premier League, according to the Daily Mail, around half a year after leaving Anfield for Saudi Arabia. His time at Al Etifak has not gone to plan. The club have not won a game since October, while the decision to move to the Gulf country caused controversy after he became a vocal ally of Liverpool's LGBTQ plus community. With the Saudi Pro League currently on winter break, Henderson will only return to action in mid-February. However, he is said to have told his teammates he was thinking about his future before leaving on holiday. Chelsea is one of the clubs that has been linked with a move for Henderson. But Pochettino revealed nothing when he spoke after his side's win over Preston in the FA Cup. To be honest, we don't talk about names. At the moment, we are not talking about bringing in players. I see Baghdad Egbali here in the manager's room with Paul Winstanley and Lawrence Stewart. I think tomorrow we will chat because we will be at the training ground. We don't talk about names or talk about positions. We don't talk about bringing in players. For now, we are focusing on players like Andre Santos to see what we will do. Chelsea are reportedly looking to take advantage of the player's 12 million euros release clause to use as a wildcard option in attack. As we know, the Blues are considering the possibility of bringing in a new striker in this transfer market. But currently, there has been no progress at all with key targets apparently unattainable or facing major obstacles so far.
So could they now turn their attention to another wild card option such as Roma's Paolo Dybala? Yes, they can and they do, according to Tuto Mercato Web, quoted by Roma Press this week. They claim Chelsea want to take advantage of Dybala's release clause, which is now active and can be triggered by applying for 12 million euros, the applicable fee for foreign clubs. Dybala will have the final say on the matter, and there is also talk of him extending his contract at his club. However, Chelsea only have a limited time to fulfill the Argentinian's release clause as it expires on January 15th. Fabrizio Romano has responded to recent Chelsea transfer rumours linking the Blues with Girona striker Artem Dovic, branding them fake news and playing down the possibility of the in-form striker moving to a new club this January. It seems Romano is not at all convinced by the stories linking the player to Chelsea this winter, although it is no secret that Mauricio Pochettino's side are short of a productive striker at the moment. Speaking exclusively to Caught Offside for the daily briefing, the transfer news expert played down the recent Chelsea links as fake news and stated that he wasn't even sure if the West London Giants would sign him in the summer. Romano said, Despite rumours about Chelsea, Artem Dovic will not leave Girona in January. There is no possibility. That's fake news, at least for the January window. We'll see in the summer, but I don't know if it's Chelsea or another club. It's too early to say at the moment. Ian Matson is open to joining Borussia Dortmund. Fabrizio Romano via X has confirmed that Borussia Dortmund has submitted a loan proposal to Chelsea for Ian Matson. Further details will be revealed as negotiations between the two clubs progress. Romano also revealed that the Chelsea left-back is open to joining the German club on loan. The move will give him valuable playing time, especially after a challenging first half of the season at Stamford Bridge. Matson has not been a regular starter for the Blues and has often been on the bench. Apart from that, Mauricio Pochettino's tactics have displaced him from his original position a transfer to Dortmund will now give Motson the opportunity to get some much-needed playing time. Currently, Pochettino has a good choice in the left-back position. With Ben Chilwell returning to training, Motson's playing minutes are expected to decrease. During a period when all the regular fullbacks were injured, the Argentinian manager showed a preference for Levi Colwell in the left-back role. This situation should encourage Motson to look for playing minutes on other fields. Even though he has talent as a left-back, Pochettino's reluctance to use him must have a reason behind it. A lone spell at Dortmund proved beneficial, considering Dortmund's reputation as the best club in nurturing young talent. Staying at Chelsea may hinder his development, because up to now, Pochettino has not been affected by his performances, resulting in irregular opportunities on the pitch.